No, in the sense that he absolutely debunked himself here. It doesn't take a long time to scroll through his profile and see that he actually promotes beef. And he actually states that if you want to get rid of diseases, you should eat meat. He doesn't really specify which diseases, as you can see in the following clip. The reason why I stated that he's debunking himself is because during the first clip that I played, there's something that he didn't conveniently highlight. If you zoom in on the graph that he put into his video, you can see that one of the members is the beef checkoff. So since the beef checkoff presumably is funding and supporting the American Heart Association, he should by his own reasoning stop eating beef. But I tried to find the graph that he showed in this video and I wasn't able to find it. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I couldn't simply find it. The only membership list I can find that is supporting the American Heart Association is the following. And I highlighted the members that I assume the carnivores are actually in support of. Cargilling is one of the largest beef producers in North America. And the Ag Nutrition Center kind of like speaks for itself. What is really baffling to me is that none of these people is mentioning how much fun the American Heart Association is getting. This graph you see here is publicly available. It receives 4% from pharmaceutical and biotech companies and device manufacturers. It received a little bit less than 12% from other corporate support and 84% from non-corporate revenue sources. But look, rather than just looking at who's funding the research, who's funding this and this and this, this is such a lame argument. And this doesn't just go for the carnivore tribe members, but also for a lot of vegans that I've seen online. Getting funding is really, really hard. You can look up a lot of different interviews from a lot of different researchers and they pretty much will state the same thing. The funding has to come somewhere. What's more important than funding is the methods, for example, or the selection criteria, the population and many other things. These are things that should be looked at first before we look at the funding. If you understand what's truly important, you can readily tell whether you are looking at a good study or a quote-unquote bad study. Let's make an example with X. A lot of the studies that have found no association between X and cardiovascular disease, for example, adjusted for cholesterol. Adjusting means that you are adjusting for confounders. And if cholesterol is a confounder and you are adjusting for cholesterol and X contain tons of cholesterol, you're literally eliminating the thing that can actually make a huge impact. So the issue lies in the methods being used in these funded studies. And I get it, someone that is not familiar with these kind of tricks cannot look through it and just looks at the results. And this is why I tell people doing your own research can be kind of dangerous and can lead you down a rabbit hole which can really misguide you actually. Trusting experts is of utmost importance. So how can you identify experts? Experts don't speak in absolutes. Experts use an uncertain language such as may, for example. High egg consumption may lead to an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. And an expert stays also in their field. An expert in nutrition would, for example, not really talk about sunscreen. You should also probably avoid anyone that tells you to avoid seed oils, is in a supermarket recording videos without a shirt on, uses the word biohacker, people that also sell you detox cleanses, and sadly many other things. If you recognize this pattern within someone that you follow, I highly suggest that you really take whatever these people are saying with a huge, a huge grain of salt. Bottom line is the funding has to come from somewhere. And it's not the funding that is the problems in these types of studies, but rather the methods and other factors. What are your thoughts about this topic? Feel free to let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you during my next video.